Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is getting me fighter costumes in 2019. So this news was seen via a Nintendo support page called What DLC is Available? Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. So the costumes will be available starting at 75 cents, but it does not uh, specify exactly what those costumes are or how many they will be. And uh, there are also about 2,674 available. So the Mii costumes are not uh, new to the Super Smash Brothers franchise that is, has been seen in the previous games as well. Serious Sam collection for PS4 and Xbox uh, Xbox One gets ESRB rating. So guys, the Entertainment Software Rating Board of ESRB might have preempted the announcement of the Serious Sam collection for Xbox One and PlayStation 4 with its release of the game's mature rating. So, although the ESRB did not mention the game include in the collection, a similar co uh, collection was released for the Xbox 360 and PS3 that bundled the first encounter, the second encounter, BFE and Double uh, DXXL. So, if this is a re release of the same collection, hopefully, we will get further remastered visual and 4K support. Guilty Gear XXX um, Accent Core Plus R Switch release delayed, so Arc System Works has apologized for not meeting the promised release window for Guilty Gear Double X Accent Core Plus R on the Switch. So the game was announced for Nintendo's hybrid console back in April and it was supposed to be released within 2018. They promised to release the game in 2019. Upon release, it will be a first Guilty Gear game to arrive on the platform. So guys, Guilty Gear Double X, uh, Double X Accent Core Plus R is a re-release of the 2006 original Guilty Gear XX Accent Core and features a reworked and rebalanced roster. Minimax Tinyverse Early Access launches free on Steam. So, independent studio O All Blue INC has released its real time strategy brawling game Minimax Tinyverse on Steam Early Access, and it is free for everyone. So, Minimax Tinyverse is like a competitive version of Lemmings. O All Blue Incorporated and CEO Kim Nam Siok describes it. And he also added that some of the game's mechanics were crystallized thanks to the help of the Warcraft of Wild Clash of Clans. Simplicity of gameplay also inspired them. And the studio also released the two realms and lock pack DLC along with the base game. Rated T for Team. Oh man of sorrow gets a free season one characters. So guys, dark fighting game Oh Man of Sorrow will be getting four new characters for free and it will be released in free season one updates. So the first one slated to be released in January has been revealed and it's no other than the seductive countless um Izer Zibat. Bathory who comes with her blood red dragon. So Oh Man of Sorrow is fighting game that inspired by classical horror, fantasy, and iconic myth and legends. It also features a 12 legendary characters such as Quasimodo of Honshuba and the Half Angel Gabriel.
Sony said no to Days Gone Dove's multiplayer mode proposal, says Saber Interactive, the studio behind the upcoming video game. Adaptation of World War Z at one point wanted to make a multiplayer component for Sony's Days Gone. Sugai CEO Matthew Cart told Games a bit that he actually approached a Sony about making the multiplayer mode. Unfortunately, it seemed that Sony was too focused on what they needed to do to get the game out that they had to say no. So guys, ultimately, Cart believes there is a market for both games and he hopes Days Gone does really well. Atlas will have multiplay uh, game announces, uh, announcement in 2019. So guys, uh, developer Atlas, who's known for Persona series, have released a teaser which hints at multi-game announcement in 2019. So the teaser was published in recent issue of Weekly Famitsu through a New Year's greeting card. And aside from this, the company has reported a registered multi, uh, multiple domains related to persona which also hints a possible new game so rumors also say that this studio will be releasing a complete edition of persona as well as a fighting spin-off by art system work Super Meat Boy is the final free game on Epic Games Store for 2018. So guys, Epic Games promised that they are giving away one free game every two weeks in the Epic Games Store and the first one offered for players in Subnautica. So a couple of weeks uh, uh, have already ended and now Epic has announced a free game for everyone. And that would be the Super Meat Boy and the game will be free starting December 28th until January 10th, and Epic Games is yet to reveal the full list of other games going free through its digital storefront, so stay tuned. Cypro or Cypro Reignited Trilogy Retail has sold over 1 million in the first week. So guys, it has sold 1.04 million units in retail in its first two days as evidenced by um, numbers in the global weekly chart as the site VG chart. So in terms of sales according to platform, the game has sold best on the PlayStation 4 with 850,502 units sold, while on the Xbox One, the game sold 191,323 units. So the game also sold best in Europe, where 45% of the sales it came from as, uh, as compared to the US where it sold only 37%. Former Ubisoft producer worked on New Splinter's Cell concept. So Ubisoft has reportedly re uh, worked on some designs for the next Splinter Cell games. However, those who did not make it into development. In an interview with Game Reactor, former Ubisoft producer Jade Raymond revealed that she and her team worked on a concept for Splinter Cell while she was still with the company and she is no longer working for the company and can no longer share what the concept was as she might be preempt any plans Ubisoft has at the moment.
Bethesda's holiday event of finale has players a choosing between these or that. So over the past couple of weeks, Bethesda has been hosting the 12 days of giveaways for its fans in the spirit of giving during the holidays. And its finale, Bethesda is asking players to choose between these or that by simply tweeting which of the two gifts they want to receive in the finale. So the catch is no one knows what these or that contains and the only the only selective winner of the sweepstakes will know what he or she is getting and winners from previous days have received Bethesda games themed consoles and controllers. All case of deal of the day that would be Prey 2017. So guys, our feature deal of the day are the Prey 2017, which is currently has the best price of six euro and ninety five cents in our price comparison. On Steam, it retails at fourteen euro and ninety nine cents. So get this game today through our price comparison and save up to fifty two percent on your city key purchase and for more deals of the day simply type exclamation mark deal in our stream chat save more and compare city key prices only here at okishop.com Monster Hunter World snuck in a new quest recently that there was supposed to only reward special materials. Some players were, however, happily surprised to find that the STF, Silent, Deadly, and Fierce quests actually rewarded players with special outfits from the Assassin's Creed series. The quest itself is very challenging though, pitting players against on Adagoran, Diviho, and Lunastro. Each successful rewards a Sino Feather, two of which can be exchanged for either Bayex Armor Set or Ezeo's Clock or Cloak. the next news guys we're gonna talk about these uh, blizzard wants to solve toxic twitch chats through linked bottle.net accounts in order to better moderate twitch chats during official overwatch streams blizzard is now looking to requiring chat participants to link their twitch and bottle.net accounts before being allowed to send messages blizzard is testing out this scheme in the overwatch contenders quarterfinals which runs until january 12th no clear sanctions have been announced for offending users, but Blizzard hopes to improve the viewer experience for the Overwatch patch to pro ecosystem with this move. It's no secret that Atlas, the highly anticipated pirate MMO from Ark Survival Evolved, Dab Studio Worldguard has had an abysmal launch plagued with bugs and network issues. Now, the studio has released a statement apologizing for the issues, saying that their servers were not matched for the initial influx of players. A new patch has, however, have been released that should improve stability and the studio says it will be prioritizing stability, connection, and data issues in the coming days. So, what can you say about this, guys? You better watch this preview of the Atlas, by the way. This game is pretty amazing. The holidays are far from over guys and GOG is here to give away a free game. But you must hurry as the horror game somehow will only be free until 
December 30th, which is tomorrow. Some takes place in an underground research lab where players must take their way out to safety while avoiding getting killed by whatever lurks in the shadows. While you're at it, you can also check out GOG's winter sale, which runs until January 3rd, 2019. So that is Sama, guys, a free on GOG. Popular Twitch streamer Tyler Ninja, Glovis is without a doubt one of the best Fortnite players out there. And his latest milestone speaks for itself. Uh, Blevins won his fifth 5,000 victory royale in Fortnite Battle Royale on December 27th, making him the first BR player to ever become the last person standing in a match. The Xerator knows that Blevins has played about 13,500 BR games, which translates to win a percentage of 37% according to Fortnite Tracker. He also has the most kills for any single player in the game across all platforms. So, Tyler is a really a pretty much amazing player. Four A Games has released a new set of screenshots for their upcoming open world shooter and the latest entry in the series of games based on Dmitry Glockhosvis novels, Metro Exodus. The new screens show more characters and creatures we're bound to encounter in Artem's latest adventure, where he leads a band of Spartan Rangers across the continent in search of a new life in the East. Metro Exodus will ditch the claustrophobic Metro subway system and give players a chance to explore the post-apocalyptic Russian wilderness. To celebrate the holidays, Detuno shared some new screenshots for the highly anticipated game Streets of Rage 4. Ever since the game had been revealed to the gaming world, not much has been made known about it. The screenshots give us ideas as well as a view of what we are experiencing in the game. We are also able to see part of the city which has a boxing gym as well as a storefront sign that has what looks like a QTE fight graphic. Streets of Rage will launch by 2019, but with no specific release date yet. So stay tuned about it, guys. We're going to give you more details soon. From Software, makers of the infamous Soul series is currently developing two more games. This is in addition to secure Shadow Die Twice. Speaking to 4Gamer, President Hidetaka Yakizi said that they'll need a little more time before they can say more about the two new games. But he did say that they're both in the vein of what the studio is popular for. From Software previously hinted on a possible return of the Armored Core, but fans are also wishing for sequels for the Bloodborne and Demon Souls series. Bandai Namco's Tales series have been a hit, starring with the Nintendo consoles and on the Sony consoles, 
which are the PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3, and it has also been a hit on PC as well. Now, Yusuke Tomizawa, the producer of Tales of the Spear Definitive Edition, confirmed that the game is selling great on Steam. He also added that the ultimate plan is to launch the games on all available platforms, and he also considering future launches and what to change as well as what to maintain on this. So, get our preview guys, watch it. Microsoft seems to be gearing up for an awesome January for its Xbox Game Pass service. Xbox executive Mike Ivar recently tweeted that they just got to review the subscription service January lineup and he's claiming that it's gonna be a great month for subscribers just like December. December was an impressive month for the service with the games like Ashen, Below, Mortal Kombat X, and other high-profile games jumping on. It's exciting to see what Microsoft has up there sleeve to top that off. Hitman 2 sold almost 2,000 units at retail in two days. This is according to VG Charts, whose global weekly chart estimates 1,196,343 retail copies sold for the sealed Sandbox Sim in those two days. To break it down even farther, 71% of those sales were the PlayStation 4 version, while the Xbox One version contributed 29%. 42% of those sales came from the US, while 35% were from Europe. Hitman 2 launched last November 13 for PC, Xbox One, and PS4. Our feature deal of the day, guys, is Prey 2017, which currently has the best price of €6.95 in a price comparison. On Steam, it retails at €14.99, so get this game today through our price comparison and save 52% on your purchase. And for more of our deals of the day, please tap Axiomation Mart Deal in the stream chat, save more, compare to the prices, all here at altyshop.com. So that's Prey 27, guys at the most affordable price.